Praise God. To God be the glory. Uh, this is a beautiful day, and we thank God for this afternoon as we bring forth the word of God and give God all the praise and all honor and all the glory, and all the glory belongs to him. Amen. So we thank God once again for another, another, as we will say, exciting day, uh, exciting midweek empowerment service. Uh, as the Lord has allowed us to come before you um, with Bible study on today. Amen. So we, we thank God for that. We thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy. And we bless the Lord for everything, um, all that he has done and all the things that is going on. Um, you know, a lot of time when we look at what's going on in the world, a lot of things that's going on in our society, we might not agree with it. We might not um uh, not even not only agree with it, but a lot of things was going on. We might not like it, but you know what? <clears throat> the Bible tells us God sit high and he looked low and meaning that he sees all this stuff was going on. Amen. So don't, don't, don't fool yourself. Don't take it lightly uh, with all uh, what's going on right now in the world. Even before then, um, God is going to settle uh, all account new account, old account, and even those count, account that is past due, amen, he's going to settle all of it, amen, so uh, my thing is our job as individual, our job as men and women of God and believers of like mind, like faith, is to continue to pray um, for the unbeliever, amen, continue to pray for the unbeliever, so we, we bless God and we thank God. And I'm telling you, is it an exciting time to trust God and an exciting time to be uh, before you? And we thank God for all of you logging on. God bless you, Mr. Rivers, Sister Deborah, and uh, Brother Vincent. God bless you, man. My homeboy Vincent, God bless you, my brother. <laughs> you know, I need to, um, when we get back, I need to know if he's still playing that keyboard, man. You know, don't get a little rusty on me, okay, Vincent? <laughs> Oh, man, he's still playing that keyboard. Let me know now. All right, Vincent, to God be the glory. Just give me some thumbs up if you're still playing that, that keyboard. Amen. Because God give all of us a gift. Amen. God bless you, Sister Barbara. And uh, God wants us to use each and every gift that he has given to us. Amen. And it's to edify the body of Christ. It's to bring God glory. Amen. So we, we thank God. And I just want to say grace. Good evening to everyone um, who have joined us and those who are still logging on and we trust and believe that um, all is well and we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy. Amen. So we give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory belongs to God. I'm telling you, um, it's, it's, an, it's a great time to bring forth, not only bring forth, but to continue to stay in the word of God and con because it's the word that's going to keep us. Amen. It's the word that's going to keep us and it's God's word that's going to keep us to stay focused on him. Amen. Because don't worry about them with all those stuff going on. You know, people going to do what people want to do. Um, they act like they don't have a good sense, but you know, when it all said and done, like I said, God is going to settle all account, whether it is a new account, whether it is an old account, whether it is an, an, uh, an account that's past due. Amen. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you because we're going to go in the word of God on tonight. And um, I'm telling you, you know, all this is this scripture, Bible based teaching where we want to go into the word of God on tonight and, and um, share with some scriptures and um, this enlighten and this get illuminated as the Holy Spirit continue to show us and unveil the word of God, because it's the word of God that keeps us. Amen. And it's the word of God that's going to continue. So we thank God most of all. How many of you are blessed? And we thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We bless and we thank God for the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you, without the Holy Spirit ministry, we can do nothing. Amen. We we, we think we can do it, but I'm telling you, with Jesus on our side, glory, hallelujah, everything will go on to be all right. And we thank God for that. And we bless the Lord for his grace and his mercy. And we thank God for his son, Jesus. Amen.
because without Jesus, I'm telling you, we are nothing. And we just thank God. Um, and, you know, when you think about it, seeing like, hey, we just got out of 2020. And you say, you know, we didn't know what 2021 is going to bring. But I'm telling you, um, this is where we got to continue to keep our not only our head, but keep our heart fixed with expecting with expectation of some great manifestation for the men and women of God. I'm telling you, um, the pandemic do not stop. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me say this. Let me say this. The pandemic. Um, God bless you, brother, doctor. The pandemic does not stop God from blessing. Amen. The pandemic don't stop God from doing what he has already said he's going to do. Our job as men and women of God is to stay focused on the word of God. And as we go in the word of God on tonight, I'm going to go ahead and um, go. We're going to go ahead and go right into the word of God on tonight. And um, as we go forth in the word of God and we bless God for his grace and we bless God for his mercy. Amen. Turn with us. Um, um, the book of Exodus, the book of Exodus, Old Testament. Amen. Exodus chapter 20 verses one through six that I want to read. Amen. The book of Exodus, because how many, you know, a lot of times we can get distracted is just the little things. Um, and let me say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, the news is going to be the news. Amen. The news is going to be the news. I'm telling you, the news is going to bring you the news. But I'm telling you, the news is not going to bring you the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because this is the good news right here. Amen. I'm telling you, the news is not going to tell you what's going on in this. Amen. You have to seek God for yourself. Amen. Not only seek him, but I'm telling you, you got to get into his word. You got to pray. You got to, 2 Timothy 2 and 15 said to study to show thyself approved unto God for a workman need not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth amen and that's what truth come by studying God's word staying in God's word believing God's word when you see all this crazy chaos and what's going on in America and other nations and all around the world and the thing about it is that come on now that ain't truth of God's word I mean if you truth and and faithful to God's word you're going to be truthful and faithful to God's word and then, thank you, Holy Spirit. You got some people that's truthful and faithful to the devil. Amen? Truthful and faithful to the devil. They are demonized. Amen? They are demonized. Some of them went to, to the school of um, demon one-on-one. -on -one. Demonized. I'm telling you. Oh, glory, hallelujah. I mean, they, they, they think evil. They plot evil. They get up with evil. They speak evil. They live evil. Evil is sad and evil. I'm telling you, uh, and, and if you take that word evil and turn it around, it's live. Because anytime you living without God, you are evil. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. You are evil. I'm telling you. And when I said you, I'm talking about here it is. Anybody that is living without God being the center of. He's the circumference, he's the base, he's the bounty, he's the substance of what our life should be all about, and it's all about him. Glory, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. I haven't even got started yet, but I'm telling you, I'm thankful and grateful for each and every one of you all. God bless you, Sister Barbara. God bless you, Sister Yolanda. Sister Gregory, God bless all of you all on tonight, and we thank God for his grace and his mercy. As we go into the word of God on tonight, coming from Exodus chapter 20, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You can join me, dear. Hello, hello. I know I heard everyone getting started over here, so. I said, let me hurry so I can get in here and join hey. and pass it with this this discussion. Is it, it's getting heated. You you was late for class or you was trying to cut you was trying to cut class tonight, y'all must be. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you could join me. Amen. Amen. I just you know, I just had to I, I leave it. I left a seat for you in the house. Amen. As always. As always. Amen. 
God bless you all. Just tell everybody good evening, as you probably already did already. You know, all yeah, who have. I did. Amen. I did. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, or I should say this evening. Yes. I hope you all had a great day so far. Amen. So we, we're, we're going to go into a um, few other scriptures that we want to cover. Um, I think a couple I want you to read also, but... Um, what we're talking about tonight, I want to read Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 6, but you know um, Exodus 21 through 17, it, it tells you these are the Ten Commandments. But what I want to talk about tonight, before I even um, read the, um, the scriptures, but the topic would be serving God continually and persistently. Serving God continually and persistently so here it is this is that now meaning of serving god this is that urgency of serving god we should serve god continually and persistently mean that we must you we got to have that hunger and thirst to serve god in these last days like never before amen I'm not saying you have not been, but what I am saying is that here it is. This is where we got to allow God to be God and allow God to um, be first in our life. We're talking about serving God. Now, now a lot of time, here it is. We're talking about serving God continually there and persistently. Meaning that here it is, we can continually be doing this. We can have a persistent life of um, doing things all the time, but what about that continually and persistently serving God all the time? Amen. Exodus chapter 20. I want to read just these six verses for um, everyone hearing on tonight, even if you have your Bible, um, even if you have your iPad, your, um, your phone, you can turn with us. Um, we want to um, go into the Word of God because I'm telling you, um, with all, like I said, I just don't want to say what's going on today. It's beyond what's going on today. I mean, the thing about it is that here it is. Long as, mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible said it rains on the just and the unjust. I mean, the thing about it is that here it is. Things happen all the time. But this, this is where we got to allow our spirit man to be continually and persistent in God's word, praying and fasting and believing the word of God. Amen. Serving him, serving God, Ser ser serving God. I mean, hmm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me, let me just read this. Exodus chapter 20, verse one, it said, and God spake all these words, saying, now these are the word of the Lord, like we said, Ex Exodus means to exit out. Amen. Exodus means to exit out of Egypt. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. And I know I, I've heard a lot of you saying right now, okay, God, when are we going to come out of this pandemic? When are we going to come out of COVID-19? We're talking about serving God continually and persistently. Amen. So Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 says, and God spake all these words saying, I am. Don't it sound familiar? Would he tell Moses, tell him, who, who should I tell him? Tell him I am, I that, that I, I am. am, huh? I am that I am. That it, whatever you want me to be, glory, hallelujah. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Oh my God, who have brought thee out of the land of, watch this, the pandemic. I am the Lord that have brought thee out of the land of COVID-19, out of the house of bondage. Thou, then he goes on in verse three, he goes and tells us, he tells you and I, he said, then thou shall have no other God, no other God, no other God before me. Thou shall not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness or anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth down verse five and six, five and six. Thou shall not bow down thyself to them who are them to man, to man. 
And we see a lot of that going on. People are bowing down to man. Well, and other gods. It's about the other gods. He's talking about not serving other gods. So, yeah, man or them, those these other gods, whoever mm -hmm. you're making your god, don't bow down to them. Wow. I should say whoever and whatever. Exactly. Because whatever, oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm going to get through with this. <laughs> whatever that thing you are serving the most, whatever that thing you watch this, you, you, you're liking more, you're loving more than God is pulling you away from watch this, serving God continually and persistently, you got to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh my God. Let it go. I don't care what it is. Let it go. Because we see what God is a what? He's a just God. He's jealous. Well, I think that's what you were thinking. About. Yes, ma'am. But you know, something you said, you know, let it go. But sometimes it's so hard to let things go when it has you. Woo. Say that again. What about when those things, mm. see, we become so entangled in things, mm. so entwined with it, so we become so in love with it. Mm. We've, it, it. We've Come on. been in it so long that sometimes you, mm. you, when you're ready to walk away from it, it's got a grip on you. Come on. Come on. These things may have, these things or these people. Mm. May actually the thing that you have made your God mm. just may have a hold on you. Mm. So this is when it becomes harder. Come on, wow. You know, and but it doesn't mean that you can't you can't get away from it. All right. You know the the the, the thing is, um, I'm let me let me just finish read these last two verses and we'll move on. God bless all of you all, and God bless your aloha, Pastor Bula, all the way from Hawaii. God bless you, my brother. Just yes. want to say a shout out to you. Hawaii is in the house. New York, God bless you. We love you all. And thank you all for joining us on tonight. Look, Somerville and Goose Creek is in the house. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so verse 5 and 6, it said, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. And that's what we're talking about tonight. Serving God continually and persistently. Amen. It said, Nor serve them, for I the Lord thy God, I am jealous, I am a jealous God. Visiting, so he tells us if we, oh my God. Hmm. He tells us right here not to serve them. And he tells us if we serve them, in verse five, he said, I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Then he said, visiting, he's going to, watch this, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We teach people to hate people. That's what hate comes from. People teach people, don't like that one. No, you don't like that one. You support, no, 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 no. The Bible tells us God is love. What we talked about last week, God is love. There's an urgency. There, um, there's, there's a now that we must get this thing right with God now, not later. Amen. And verse six said, and showing mercy, then God said, and showing mercy unto thousand of them that love me and keep my commandment and this is what it's all about keeping the lord commandment amen keeping keeping god's commandment keep and keeping god's commandment and the thing about it a, a lot of time you know when you think about it say so when when should we keep his commandment why should we keep his commandment it, because he tells us right here he tells us why and when we should we should keep his commandment always. Amen. Like I said earlier, the first five books of the Bible, the Old Testament was the law which God strictly and strategically wrote out and gave to Moses. Amen. So here it is. He gave it to Moses. It's in the book. And this is where we should. Here it is. This is our roadmap right here. And I'm, and I'm, I'm thankful and grateful as we 
continue to, to trust God in everywhere and everything that we're doing and saying. I don't care. I'm I'm telling you, this is where we got to continue to trust God in our up and our down, our in and out. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know, you asked the question about when should we or why should we keep the mm -hmm. commandments? But you know, once you um, give your life over to Christ, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't. Those questions don't even exist anymore. Mm -hmm. It becomes you. You have a desire. Mm -hmm. Your heart has changed, and you have a desire to want to serve Him, to want to keep His commandments. Yes. You have a love and a desire to keep His commandments, and no longer there's that question is not there anymore to ask you why do you want to do this? Wow. Or when do you want to do it? Mm -hmm. it Keeping his commandments becomes a part of your life, a part of your living, a part of who you are. Yes. So, again, those questions don't come to your mind anymore. Mm. Maybe those questions are for those that may be around you. When they're looking at your life being changed in front of their very eyes, then they may ask those questions. Mm. But you yourself, when you be, when you accept the Lord as your, as your Lord and Savior of all, you don't ask yourself those questions anymore. Wow. Now that 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 when you think about that, that is a blessing because and the thing about it is that it's our life living, it's how we live our life that people will look at watch this. Because you and I, some of us, we might be the only Bible people see. Amen. And we might we might be that sixty-six book that people see every day. Uh, whether you're in, on, the, on your job, whether you're in the grocery store, whether you uh, it doesn't matter where you're at. And this is where we got to serve God. Con watch this continually, not only on Sunday, not only on Wednesday, not when we say, "Okay, it's time, it's it's time for Bible study" or "It's time for Sunday service." We should serve Him. I'm telling we, we're gonna. We, there's some other scripture we want to cover because I don't want to get ahead of myself because the heart must be in it. Amen. Mm -hmm. the, let me let me say this: the heart must be in it because God is. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is not there. He's not a light switch that we cut on and off. You know, hey, oh, I feel like, oh, I feel like praising him today. Amen. Oh, oh, I feel like praising him. Then all of a sudden, you, whether whether um something hit you or you lost your job or, or dealing with finance, dealing with some sickness or, or something happened, then all of a sudden, come on now, we, we, we should still praise him in spite of, because he's a just God. Amen? And and, and this is not, here it is, okay, well, you know, in other words, you know, a lot of, when you, when you look at it now, you know, we have Easter coming up, as we would call it, resurrection. A lot of time, individuals say, oh, I'm, I'm going, I'm coming to church Easter. I'm coming to church. Oh, my God, I can't wait. And the thing about it is, that here it is, this because you come to church one time, that don't mean that you're serving God. Oh, my God. This because you come that one time. That don't mean that you're serving him continually and persistently. It don't start when you get in the building. It starts where? At home. Amen? It starts at home. It's not a light switch that we cut on. Oh, I, I feel like serving the Lord. I, I feel like giving him praise. I feel like magnifying. I feel like singing. I feel, I feel like. Amen? <laughs> and the thing about it is that here it is. We're talking about serving God continually and persistently, meaning that we should do this always, my, my sisters and my brothers in Christ Jesus. We should serve him always. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, uh, my, my God, because the way you're serving him, the way you give him praise, the way you're committed to God is watch this. The, watch this. Your kids are watching you. Your grandkids are watching you. I'm telling you. Glory, hallelujah, but people are watching you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yep. So here it is. Um, serving God is about honesty and integrity. Serving God is about honesty and integrity. It is very important. Let me say this. It is very important. Then there's a um, couple of scriptures I want you to read there. It is very important that we serve him only, you might say, all alone, lonely, <laughs> all alone, just me and you. It is very important that we serve him 
only, not man, amen? Not man, amen? Watch this. We say amen, meaning that we, we serve Watch this, not a man, but we serve the man, which is Jesus, amen? The man, amen? We serve him, amen? Because Herod is, oh my God, we, we thank God for his grace. Um, I want you to read Matthew chapter 6, verse 23 and 24. Um, turn with us to Matthew chapter 6, verse 23 and 24. I, I'm just thankful and grateful for the word of God. Um, while she's going there, let me, let me just say this, because... God called these his Ten Commandments, as you read the um, fully, not the fully chapter, but from Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 through 17. God called this, watch this, his Ten Commandments, because he commands us, you and I, to do it. He, look, that's, he, he called that his Ten Commandments, amen? It's, it's the Ten Commandments. So why, why would God give us these commandments if he didn't want us to obey it. these are his rules and regulation to go by each and every day amen he give it to us amen it's it's to help keep us in in line amen it's just like i said this before it's just like your car when your car get out of line is going down the road like that you got to go to the alignment shop or get some ties or tie rod or whatever and get it in get it back in alignment amen it's just like the word of God. The word of God keeps us in line with God. Amen. Well, they're, they're instructions. They're gu it's guidance for us. For yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. For guidance. We need, um, we need to be led. We need a leader. Yes. And how else do we have a leader? If not, and you know, it's, what's so powerful in the, his leadership not only did he leave us an example, but he mm -hmm. gave us written word. Yes, ma'am. And then he becomes, he's a personal, he speaks mm -hmm. to us personally. Amen. So, I mean, how blessed are we to have all of that? Whereas, um, look at all of the things, look at things that have been built, things that have been manufactured. Mm. Everything that has been built. Come on every, now. The computers, the TVs, our telephones there are instructions somewhere for it. Wow. Um, even like for our phones, when there's something mm -hmm. going on with our phones and with our watches, mm -hmm. we can troubleshoot things. We can go online and troubleshoot and mm -hmm. look for things, look for some kind of guidance or instruction. Well, thank God we don't have to go searching everywhere mm -hmm. for, for, for hope and for encouragement mm -hmm. and for instructions. We can go to one source. Come on now. The written word. Yes. And then we can get in prayer. We can communicate mm. with this God. My Lord. So again, we we are mightily blessed mm. to have that guidance. Wow. Whereas, you know, with, like I said, everything that has been built, mm -hmm. you can find some kind of written mm. store. We can find some kind look, um, for Christmas, all of these mm. these kids got all of these toys. Mm -hmm. They got games. I know it was um the children got some games here, some board games. The first thing I'm gonna look for is the instructions. <laughs> and there was one game we couldn't play because somebody lost the instructions <laughs> to the to the game. So we never got a chance to play the game. Wow. So look, so we couldn't we didn't have the written instructions in the box mm -hmm. from the box. So where was the next thing we turned to YouTube wow. or Google? the name of the game so that we could find the instructions for it. So. And, and you know, it, it, it will tell you that give you the instruction <coughs> on the box, how to put it together or how to do it. I'm laughing at you because <laughs> she knows there have been times, you know, when I get something, I just look at the box. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm being honest with you, but God wants us to read. And, and, and that's, that's just a shortcut. Of saying, you know, man, I can put this together. You we don't have parts all over the all over the place, and ain't nothing gonna nothing is gonna go right. And and the thing about it is that here it is, is the same thing with the Word of God. We shouldn't just look at the Bible. We should read the Bible and study the Bible. Amen. And more importantly, <laughs> we shouldn't look at someone else's life. Yes. Looking at a picture of someone else's life, and assuming that this is the way. This is the plan that God has mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. 
yes, of course, there are general instructions. But if you want specific instructions, you need to go to the Lord and see exactly what he wants for yes, you. Yes. But we cannot assume, okay, well, this per we look at the look at we can't look at all of the material things mm -hmm. of a person's life. Amen. And say, oh, we got we have to do it this way if yes. we want to be blessed. Like this person is being blessed. Mm. Well, what if God doesn't want these type of blessings in your life? Mm. Maybe that is not for you right now. Not saying that it's not a it's, that it's not a God thing and it is not a good thing, mm -hmm. but that may not just be for your life at this particular time. So there are things we can't. This is why we have to go to God for ourselves, go to the Word for ourselves, mm. and look and read. Not just look, but read and meditate. And get that word in your life, in your very spirit, so that you know exactly what God's want, what He wants for you, and how He wants you to build upon His word for you, not yes. what He wants for somebody else. Amen. Because we can't, we we'll, we get it wrong mm -hmm. when we when we choose to take shortcuts, yes. or we choose to yes. go another way. Yes. We all we'll end up we'll end up messing up. Wow. Pastor has told you when he don't read the instructions and just look at the picture. Come, we, we end up having to take it all apart and doing it all over again. And you know what? When you think about that, I'm laughing because I've been there. It's, it's like causing an accident. Amen. And the thing about it is that here it is. Um, it's just like a driver that's driving. The thing about it, he want to make sure he's taking us not a shortcut, but on the route he or she supposed to take us on and reading the instruction. And the thing about it, we just thank God. But like I said, you said you said it all, and, and and even through this serving God, we are to serve Him continually and persistently, always. Amen. Um, you know, and before you read those um, scripture, let me just say this um, because I, I was I thought about this when you were talking, and it was, it's nothing but the Holy Spirit, and, and we thank God each and every day for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because I thought about this when you were um, talking, because. Um, and I know I have, and I'm speaking for me, okay, and and maybe some of the viewers uh, have sensed this all also saying, okay, 2020 is gone. Oh, boy, I tell you what, I, I wonder what 2021 is going to be like. Um, you know, the thing about it, maybe, God, I, I haven't been serving you. I haven't been faithful the way I needed to be faithful to you. Maybe I haven't been reading my word. Um, I, I, you know, it's 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 not about making all these resolutions, but it's about really, really being committed and serving God. But you, you, we're going to see with with that heart. I don't want that's the scripture. I don't want to get ahead of that. But I'm just saying, not not. I think I want to do it today, and and we should. And, and as 2020 went out, we're in 2021, just a few days, just the first month. But then here it is. This is where we still have to continue to stay focused in God and in his word because I'm, t oh my God, glory. I felt that. This, thank you, Holy Spirit. There's some great things, not only some great things. We can say great things, not only great things, but there's some awesome things that's going to happen and that have already been released in the earth for the men and women of God in this season. I'm telling you, and, and, I, and I understand, yes, we are still praying and believing God for greater healing, miracle signs, and one of those who have been affected by the pandemic and COVID-19, the disease. I'm telling you, see, like sometimes things get worse before it gets better. But I'm telling you, we serve a God that's going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could even think or even ask. I'm telling you, God is still in control. Amen. God is still in control. Oh, my God. Mm, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, yes, yes, we're going we, we, we gonna, to we gonna continue to gather again. We're going we're gonna to continue to do things as family, as um, friends and neighbors and different things and how, how will we say cook out and different thing like that but we're going we're going to continue to okay god i'm going to put you first i mean i i'm going to serve you with all all my heart i'm going to serve you there god i'm going to 
it, this ain't gonna be no oh I, when I when I feel. Like this our life depend on watch this not just us not just you but other people are watching your kids your kids kids are watching amen hallelujah oh my god mm. let's try to move on <laughs> okay so that was matthew chapter 6 verses uh, 22 and 23 right 23 and 24 amen 24. Okay. amen Okay, in the King James, mm -hmm. it reads, But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Wow. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Wow. That's that's powerful. You know when if you you care to say anything on that, mm -hmm. I'm um, look at another version. Let me let me just say this: when you think about that scripture right there, it sets the tone, not only just the tone, but when you think about that scripture, it tells us we cannot serve God and mammoth mammoth is a type of the world amen the world system the world government amen but here it is we're talking about serving god continually and persistently amen and the thing about it is that here it is because i said it before we don't know who who's watching you you know uh, we never know not only who's watching you but watch it it, it could be someone um your neighbor your co-worker it doesn't matter. I mean, if we all we if we say we in this, we all in it for God. We should be all in it for God. We in it, we in it, and I'm telling you, oh my God, I'm blessing. I'm telling you this, there's oh glory, hallelujah. Not only just blessing, but I'm telling you, God, oh my God, God, thank you, Holy Spirit. In this season, when I say in this season, we don't know. When we think about the goodness and not only the goodness, but when we think about what God has done and how he kept us and how he continued to bless us in spite of, I'm telling you, there's greater, there's better already here and it's on his way. Amen. And, you know, I want to read those same two scriptures in the, um, mm -hmm. the Passion Version. Yes, ma'am. And it says, but if your eyes are focused on money. The light focus can, on what is focused on money, money, mammon, the type of the world, amen. If money, your eyes are focused on money, the light cannot penetrate, and darkness takes its place. Mm. How profound will be the darkness within you if the light of truth cannot enter? I got to read that again. Wow, so I had to tell you to read it again, yeah. right. My but own. if your eyes are focused on money, mm -hmm. the light cannot penetrate and darkness takes its place. Mm -hmm. So light is not there. It's either one or the other. Yes. Can't be can't be in between. It's either one or the other. Um, so how profound will be the darkness mm -hmm. within you if the light of truth cannot enter? If wow. the light of truth can't enter... How profound is that darkness? You it begins mm. to um, come through your pores. It be it, you see it. You you not only see it, but you hear the darkness mm. in a person's speech, in their actions, mm. because my lord, the light of truth can't enter. Mm. So everything that person does and say, you you see the, you see you hear you sense the darkness about them because the light of truth cannot enter. Wow. Nations in verse 23 mm -hmm. and 24 says, how could you worship two gods? And that's gods? the passion, right? Yeah. Okay. How could you worship two gods at the same time? Mm -hmm. You will have to hate one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other. You can't worship the true God while enslaved to the God of money. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Now, you might say, well, you know, yeah, I got to work. I need my... Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead. Because you, when you, when I was talking earlier, when mm-hmm. you said something about things having you, this is where the God begins to... That's why I was getting ready to go ahead. But go ahead. The God has you. The yes. money has you. It's You're enslaved to it, so mm-hmm. it's controlling your life. Mm-hmm. This God is controlling ah, you. My God. And... and and that is not the big G. That's a small G. Amen. <laughs> that's the small G, not a capital G. Because watch this. And, and you might say, Pastor, yeah, I got to work. I want to retire one day. And yes, we all want we all want that. And we want greater things and better things in life. And, and God wants us to have the best. Yes. He wants us to have the best because he give us his best. Then he give us. John 3, 16, he gave us his son. He wants us to have the best. God wants us to have finer things. He, he, he wants us to have stuff. He wants us to have things. And I'm going to say this. He wants you to have money. He wants you to, in, watch this. He wants you to enjoy life, not just endure life, but he wants you to have things, but he don't want things to have you. He don't want things to have you. Because if we allow things to, oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit, dictate who I, um, who you are, we, we, we've already missed the boat. We've already missed it, amen? Because God, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's all about serving God continually and persistently in his word. I'm telling you, I'm oh my God, because God wants us to have Thing. He wants us to enjoy life. He wants us to enjoy family. He wants us to go places. He wants the, us, you and I, to be happy. Amen? Happiness is not, as the world call it, happy. That's fake happy. But true happiness and that whole happiness come from loving God and, watch this, knowing his word, serving him, continually and persistently. Amen. That's what it's all about. Amen. Because the Bible said the first going to be last and the last going to be first. Amen. What I, what I am saying is that here it is. You said it earlier. Our job is to stay focused on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Stay, stay focused on Jesus because it's, it's, it's the work of the Holy Spirit ministry to keep us focused on Jesus, amen? When it all said and done, God is going to be God, amen? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. So we, we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy because when it all said and done, we got to continue to trust God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, and, and I'm thankful and grateful for God and I'm thankful and grateful for the word of God there's one other scripture that we want to cover on tonight, but I, I'm telling you, when you look at Exodus, Exodus means. Thing of doing and getting this thing right. I'm telling you, for the Lord, amen. We think we got time. We think we got time. We, 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 you know, well, you know what? I, I, um, maybe I do. No, 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 no. Serving God continually and persistently, we should do that always, amen. Amen. Always, amen. Two other verses that, um, turn with me to Matthew chapter. 22, you're in Matthew chapter 6. Um, can you read um, 37 through 40? But before you read that, let me say this. When we serve him, when we serve the Lord, we are to serve him with our heart, not our head. I, I, I know what you're saying. Well, you know, Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Yeah, mm-hmm. I understand that. Okay, and we are to have the mind of Christ. Amen. We are to, but it's all of, when it comes to God. God tells Samuel, "Don't look at the outer appearance. Look at it's all about the matter of the heart." Amen. Amen. 
something that looked good outside doesn't mean that it's good inside. Mm, my God, glory, hallelujah. Yeah, so that's why we don't want to look at somebody's life my Lord. and assume that this is the way we're supposed to pattern our lives. Mm. Come you on. Don't want to you don't want to look at somebody's life not knowing, because we don't know the heart. We don't know the heart of man. Wow. So this is why we need to make sure that we're not patterning our lives after someone else. Mm -hmm. This is why, if you're going to do that to some extent, we can do that to some extent. Mm -hmm. Like God said, uh, who was it? Paul said, um, uh, oh God, what's But he said, follow me follow as, me up as I follow Christ. Christ. Amen. How, you knew exactly what yes. I was thinking of. <laughs> follow me as I follow as Christ. I follow yeah. Christ. Amen. You look at his life and you follow him as, as he is as following. He. But the moment he stops following, mm. you better stop patterning your life after his. Stop following him if he's not following Christ. Hold up. Wait a minute. You're right. <laughs> <coughs> Amen. Amen. And, and so, you're so very, uh, and, and that's one of the thing is, um, I, I say this before, it's, it's not about the things, it's about, not about the stuff, the the you know, the big building, the cathedral, and, and, and all this is good, all that's fine, and oh my God, but I'm telling you, um, it's all about, you know, watch this, thank you, Holy Spirit, it's all about the individual, God work inward, inside out, amen, the light shine within, amen, the Bible said, the light that sits on the hill we are to be the light of the world. And the Bible said, a light that set us on a hill cannot be hid. What do you mean? Every time, oh my God, glory, hallelujah, I heard this this now. Every time you go into a place, you might say, oh my God, I, I got to go deal with this again, or I got to go over here again. God has called you to be the light of the world. Sometimes he, he takes the light and put it around darkness to shine them up, yeah, to else, light it up. How else does the light... <laughs> <laughs> How else do you see light? You see light the, at its best mm -hmm. in the dark. So, yeah, because I mean, in this room here, it's it's really lit up good. Mm -hmm. If you bring a, a a light in here, a lamp in here now, mm -hmm. how what's going to grab? What's going to really get your attention? How Come much on. more will you see that light? Come on. Mm. <coughs> will you see that light any more than you see this other light? Wow. Wow. How much more is it going to add to an already lit room? Mm. It's already lit. So what you're saying is that here it is in a lot of time, and I and I, I heard the Holy Spirit just said this just now before you read this verse, and, and a lot of time we've been there before, like, oh, my God, you know, why would it, um, I be, not, not so much be around, but be in the midst of this and that. Sometimes God will allow any one of us to be in the midst of, the crazy, the chaos, to let them see his light. Okay? Because we are the light of the world. A light that sitteth on a hill cannot be hid. God will sometime pull you out and put you among them to help let them see his glory. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. And they begin to ask questions. Well, how do, how you doing this? How you? No, no, no. It ain't how, it ain't who, it's all about him. It's the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous what? In their eyes. See, God allow, he uses people, he allow things to happen so that people can see the manifestation that God can use whoever he wants to when he gets ready. Amen? Hallelujah. My God. Glory. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. All right. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 through 40 and we're going to try to close on that scripture right there I'm, I'm telling you i'm thankful and grateful for all of you all on tonight and i'm i'm thankful and grateful that we are continually praying for each and every one of you kingdom empowerment ministry we love you oh my god god bless each and every one of you our extended facebook family it's hard to believe that it's almost been a year yeah. one year since we were, whether it was uh, in the, well, this room, the upper, however, whatever room, it's on. Um, because when did it start? Yes, when about February. Well, uh, in, one, like in March. Yes. And March is March is when we had to go into the lockdown. Yes, almost like one year. 
doing this Facebook Live, um, getting the word out, and we thanking God. I, oh my God, I just kept, I, and I think, I, yeah, someone put commitment up there, Sister Barbara, and that's what God is looking for. Amen. God bless you. Brother Doctor, you're right. My commitment to my God is always the best. And that's what God is looking for. I, I, I mean, consist continually. God is, we should serve him continually and persistently. That's what he's looking for. That And all that comes with being committed to God and connected to leadership. Amen. Committed to God, but connected to leadership, meaning that somewhere, somehow, God will assign you, oh my God, to a specific place. Amen. And I'm telling you, it's been a year and we're thankful and grateful for the word of God on Wednesday, on Sunday. And I'm, I'm thankful and grateful for each and every one, even our extended Facebook live family, YouTube. Oh my God. It's, 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 don't forget the YouTube family. Amen. It's, it's a blue. It's better than our plan. Amen. Oh, God plan is always better than man plan. I was getting ready to say it's always better. Yes. I was getting ready to yes. Say. God has the master plan. Amen. Yep. So Matthew 22 verses 37 through 40 in the King James Version. It reads, Jesus said unto him, mm -hmm. thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. That's it. With all thy what? With all thy heart. If you love God with all your heart, you can serve God continually and persistently. Amen. But it's not just with the heart. <laughs> Come on now. Love him with all thy heart mm -hmm. and with all thy soul mm. and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love, the, love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law oh. and prophets. Oh, two commandments. Amen. I, I'm telling you, if, if, oh my, if we can just get that right, love, love, I'm telling you, oh my God, love, I'm telling you, love covers a multitude of sin. We can, we, we, we got to continue to know how to love the unlovable, when it all said and done, let me just say this. I'm going to read it in the translation. I mean, the passion version. Is. Let, me, let me just say this before she read it in the passion version. Amen. When we learn how to serve God continually and persistently, then we can love people inwardly and outwardly. Hmm. I'm going to say it again. When we... We, you and I, all of us, amen, no one is excluded, amen. When we learn how to serve God continually and persistently, then we can love people inwardly and outwardly, meaning that regardless of what kind of problem, issues, or whatever they got going on, because God loves everybody, amen, whether it's black, whether it's white, Chinese, Mexican, Asian, and all nationality, God loves everybody. Everybody, amen. God, and, and like I said, it's it's not like who you pick and choose. God is saying, Well, you know, I don't, you know, come on now. God is not like this. I love this one today, I don't love that one. I love this one. God loves everybody, amen. Mm -hmm. See, God, oh my God, God love go down to the deep, amen. His, his love go down and it comes up, amen. People love is narrow and shallow. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. But God love is unconditionally. Amen. In spite of what you're going through. Hallelujah. My God. Go ahead. Mm. So in the passion, and I keep calling it the passion version, and actually it's the passion translation. The passion translation. Amen. TPT. TPT. Amen. And it said, Jesus answered them. Love the Lord your God with every passion of your heart, mm -hmm. with all the energy of your being, and with every thought that is within you. This is the great supreme commandment, 
and the second is like it in importance. You must love your friend in the same way you love yourself. I know. Contained within these commandments to love you will find all the meaning of the law and the prophets. Wow. So wow. with every, every part of your being, you're to love the Lord. And you know what I, mm-hmm. What else I saw in this um, translation? It says, love the Lord your God. Mm-hmm. Not someone else's God. All right. But the love the Lord your God. Your God. He's personal. This is a personal relationship. This is between you and the Lord. Wow. God is God is awesome, and we between thank God. you and the Almighty Creator, your Creator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God is awesome, and we serve an awesome God, and we thank God for the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, what a, what a blessing time it is, and um, you know, there's 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 this. God is a God of peace. God is a God of love. God is a God of understanding. Amen. And a lot of times when we don't understand things and understand what's going on and all the stuff in the news and all the stuff what's happening in the world, around your world, God said, you know what? I can give you understanding. Get in my word. Get under. Get under. Get un- Get under. In jo- um, Jeremiah 3.15, he said, I will give you pastors after my own heart who will feed you. Amen. So God would always connect us. He will always uh, assign someone, amen, when it all said and done, or uh, when it all said and done, God will give us what we need, amen. He will show us in his word, amen. He will give us the understanding, amen. And this is where we continue to get in his word because it's the word that comforts us. It's the word that uh, uh, soothes us. It's the word that keeps us on the right track for Jesus Christ, Amen. And most of all, last but not least, we thank God for the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Amen. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. And and we thank God for the Holy Spirit when it all said and done. Yes, Jesus went on to be with the Father. He sits on the right hand, make an intercession for you and I. But he left with us the Holy Spirit to lead us and to guide us into all truth. Amen and to bring things back to our remembrance. Amen. So we bless God for each and every one of you. And um, we're going to try to just um, stop right there. And we thank God for tonight's study, um, serving God continually and persistently. Um, Yes, we might not be in the building, but you know what? It's all about commitment. Amen. Yes, it's all about commitment. Amen. And that's what it's all about. It doesn't matter where you're at. You can serve him in your basement. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. In your car. It it, it doesn't matter where you're at. You can serve him. It doesn't. I'm telling you, you. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. And that's what God is looking for. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Anything else? We're going to go ahead and stop right there. Um, Like I said, we're out of time, but never out of messages. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So once again, we love you all and thank God for all of you all on tonight. Um, Kingdom Empowerment Ministry, you know we love you with the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Facebook Live, YouTube, Extended Family. I don't want to start calling name, but you know who you are. (laughs) God see you. Um, It's not about me and you seeing who's on and it's not about that, but it's all about commitment. And I'm telling you, there is a ble- Oh my God, there is a blessing. I heard super duper natural blessing that's going to hit your house. Super natural blessing that's going to hit your house. I'm telling you, super natural blessing that's going to hit your house. I'm telling you, if it haven't hit it, hit it yet. Watch for it in this month right here. Glory, hallelujah. Supernatural healing, miracle, signs, and oneness. Oh, my God. Ah, oh my God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying this just to be saying it. I'm telling you what I'm sensing in my spirit for the people of God. Watch God move like never before. Hallelujah. Mm, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Dan. I know it's something you want to say before we close. No, I'm, mm. I don't think. 
Mm. She's not leading me to say anything just yet. But my she, Lord. Mm. My leaning is in prayer. <laughs> ah, my God. Hallelujah. I'm just, I'm just praying for you all. And just yes. praying that um Thank you, Lord. That we, you know, that we have used this time wisely. That we yes. have, that we have been in um, mm. semi, you know, in in homes or semi in whatever you call it. In, not quarantine, but we just pray that um mm. that you're using this time to connect and yes. get closer with the Father. Amen. Get Amen. closer with him and having that relationship. Urgency with him now. Mm. Use the time wisely. Take advantage of the time. Um because I know he's he's dealt with me on that because um that well I'll get into that at some other time, but he's dealt with me on that. So let's not take this time for granted. Um, that we have any time, any moment that we have, use that time to um, to communicate with your father. And, you know, Amen. And it's, there's mm. no come on now. There's no specific formula. Mm. You know, God is a God. He's a great God. He's mm. such a big God that mm. just because mm. He does it one way with someone, it doesn't mean that's the only way. My Lord, that's the only way that He'll speak to you, or the only way that He'll mm. heal you. Mm. Because God is greater than than what we can even imagine. Mm. The way He works, the way He moves, is My greater Lord. than what we ah, glory. can imagine. Mm. So don't get, don't put God in a box. My Lord, don't don't think that He can only heal you or He can mm. only hear you mm. when you are in a certain place or if you're doing a certain mm. thing. No, God, He's 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 a great God. He's He's the Almighty mm. with all power, My Lord. all seeing, all knowing. Ah, so, glory. so don't don't limit God. Don't My limit Lord. Him and mm. His relationship with you. Amen. So mm. let's just remember to stay focused. Don't My Lord. Don't be moved by what we see. Be, mm. be moved by His Spirit. Mm. Be moved by what you don't see. Ah, glory, hallelujah. By Come His on now. faith. Be mm. moved by faith. Thank you, so Jesus. Woo. Don't don't get caught up. Mm. Let's not get caught up with everything that's going on because, mm. yeah, because it, it can easily, easily anger us and keep us in that place. Wow. So let's not stay in that place by by the things that we see. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Thank you, Holy. Mm. <coughs> My Lord. If that's what you're um, required to do, then you do that. But I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of the scripture when the centurion went to Jesus. Say, I'm a man under authority. I, I tell them to do this. I tell them to do it. I tell them to go. They go. But Jesus, you don't have to come. In, in other words, he said, Jesus, you don't have to come off your assignment. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He said, you don't have to come off your assignment to come to my house. He said, Jesus, speak the word only that my servant might be healed. And that's what we got to begin to continue in this now season of urgency. Speak the word over your life. Glory. Hallelujah. Speak healing. Speak deliver. Speak that I am healed in Jesus name. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. And you know, mm. I was um, talking with my cousin today mm. and you know, with everything that's, that, that is going on in politics, in the political world. I want us all to remember, if we say that God is in control, let him be in control and don't be... <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, he is. <coughs> Amen. Again, let's not be moved by these things. That, you know, because sometimes it is, it's, it's very, it can be very irritating. Mm -hmm. It can work your nerves when... God is in control. When we keep seeing these things and what we we're wondering in the back of our minds and we will vocally say these things. Well, what is, what is wrong with these people? Mm. What is wrong? Why can't they see or why can't they understand? And, you know, and I said to my cousin, I said, you know, it's amazing how we were wondering. And I know for myself personally, we're wondering, well, why couldn't they see or why, why something wasn't done mm. a certain way? But lo and behold, when you look, 
God, when God says that everything that the enemy meant for bad, he will turn it around for good. Mm. Will we not see that thing? Mm. And I'm not saying that God is. the evil that that we're seeing but one thing I, I noticed is when I look like let, let me let me put it this way like for instance it looked like one side blocked a judge from, from going to be um, uh, going to the Supreme Court and most of you may know what I'm talking about but it looks like Look like something they blocked that was blocked from going forth. But when you look, God said He will use everything, everything yes, will be understand. used. So when I look now, the person that was blocked from going to the Supreme Court, sure enough, he's being used in another position. And again, I'm not saying God is Republican, God is for, for Democrat, or He is. Um, He's he's for the right or for he or he's for the left. God is God. God is he God. doesn't need anybody on his side. Exactly. But he will use every situation. Mm -hmm. He will turn things around mm -hmm. for the good of this nation, yes. for the good of his people. Yes. So, but if we're saying that God is in control, again, don't be moved by what you see. What don't you get see. upset and wonder, well, well, well. Is God not moving? Is God does God not see this? Mm -hmm. Look, God is God. Amen. Amen. He's in control of all, all yes. of this. Yes. And 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 last <clears throat> but not least, we're gonna close on this. But it's with God, everything is timing. Amen. He does things in his time, not on God don't work on, on our watch. Amen. He does things in his time and he, he does it and he makes it perfect. Amen. And God is a God of peace. God is a God of love. God is not the author of confusion. Amen. And he's a God of justice. Yes, he is. Amen. And he's a God of justice. Amen. So we thank God for his grace and we're going to continue to rejoice in the Lord. Oh, my God. And I'm thankful and grateful. Better is here. Better is not coming. Greater is here. Greater is not coming. I'm telling you, we're going to continue to see the things that God has for those that love him, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither have it entered the heart of those that love God. I'm telling you, it's manifestation time, y'all. It's manifestation time, y'all. It's manifestation time, y'all. And God bless y'all. Be safe. We'll see you Sunday at 10 a.m. The Lord should tell us coming. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. And we love you all. Amen. Yes, we love you. And remember, um, <clears throat> practice your social distancing. Wash your hands. And more importantly, wear your mask. Please wear your mask. So, um, yeah, and stay safe. Yes. Okay. Amen. So God bless you all. And thank you for joining us once again. And thank mm -hmm. you for staying with us because we're over our time. <laughs> yes. So. Thank you, and God bless you.